What's going on folks, this is Jagos, and we're going to be talking about college scholarships for playing League of Legends. Now, this is something that I think a lot of people really need to pay attention to because what is essentially happening is that our colleges are telling us basically that they can no longer educate people. And this is really disappointing because what is going on is that Robert Morris University in Chicago is allowing a League of Legends team. And 35 players are on scholarships to play a game, to learn how to strategize, and essentially they are working on the esports market. Now, if you want to sit here and talk about esports, that's actually going to be Counter Strike, Dota 2, Hearthstone. These are some of the places. These are some of the things that are being done outside of doing just say football, where you have a lot of concussions. Now, AJ Plus is the one that has the story. Another story that they um, that I've been looking into is how colleges are doing a lot more for ac uh, athletics than they are for education. And this is just another step in the same direction. So in the underbar, I'm going to have a link to two different uh, videos. One is going to be talking about college scholarships. The other is going to be talking about the college education what happens with um, athletics and academics. Neither one of them is really all that long. It can take, you can look at both of them in eight minutes, but what is going on with the college programs that we are currently seeing in this day and age? Well, most of the money that has been taken out of colleges and having one in Chicago that sits here and tells people, well, you can play video games for a living. Here's the thing about video games. and. I understand that I play Warframe and I've put Warframe on my channel, but that's not the only thing that I do. The thing is, when you're playing a lot of games, if you want to do something outside of just doing those games, that's what college is actually supposed to be for. It's supposed to sit here and help you learn how to team build, learn how to network, all of these things for computer science, for other aspects, networking, communication. These are supposed to be some of the degrees that's supposed to help you get a job. Well, our job market is pretty bad. People are going to school less and less for an education, but more and more for just specific jobs to go into colleges that are, you know, and jobs that are just being shipped overseas to China. And right now, China is going down. So that's bringing down the United States market. And there's plenty of other things that are going on. But to see what's going on with this, they have to pay 5000 a year, they have to network, they have to be the best, and then more and more people go into this field, and then you have to ask yourself, what happens when this bubble finally bursts? Because I, I honestly see this as like an internet tech type bubble, and it's looking more and more that more people are going into these mobile games. Uh, massively online battle arena games I guess I don't know I don't play a lot of mobiles but I just know the, the an acronym and I don't play a lot of counter-strike myself but I did do coverage of a counter-strike tournament on my Twitter channel but still the fact of the matter is when you're looking at this I see this as a bad path for actually doing anything for colleges and that is the problem. That's the thing that I'm going to be criticizing. It's just the fact that this really shows how bereft of ideas the college scene is becoming. It's not sitting here and working to teach people how to use their skills to sit here and eventually do something outside of it. But what do they need right now? And then what's going to come out of it? I don't even know. This is the kind of thing that should be figured out and dealt with I mean what are you gonna do as an e-gamer outside of uh, esports broadcasting and other things what exactly are you gonna do you're so heavily invested in the gaming career you can't do anything outside of it that's one of the things that I have an issue with now the other thing is what kind of other scholarships what are what are the other things that you're gonna be teaching it shouldn't be just video games no one should be just playing video games all day and the fact of the matter is with just looking at just these esports most of them are valve games counter-strike dota 2 
I mean, I'm pretty sure you could probably do TF2 as well, but you have another issue if you play TF2 competitively. You know, you're going to have the 6, 6v6 as the main standard matchup. You can do a 5v5, 5 versus 5. You can do those. And then what exactly do you plan to do in terms of tournaments and everything else? These are all questions that I kind of have in my mind because just run, seeing how a Counter-Strike tournament was run, it was very, very difficult to do five teams when one team when you only have say four sets of computers and you have one team that has a buy and this was done all day from 12 o'clock to 9 10 11 12 where everybody was playing like 10 20 matches and then trying to sit here and coordinate all of this so to me when you're seeing these college scholarships for playing League of Legends, for seeing Dota, it really has to ask some extra questions about what is going on with our college education system that I don't think are being um, figured out right now. That's my opinion. I'll see you all next time.